Before we begin, check out the description for all the equipment that I use, whether it's my drones, my cameras, my microphones, or anything else for the cheapest, best price possible down in the description down below. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, I just wanted to make a quick video and talk about DJI for a second. Okay, DJI ha has amazing drones. Okay, this is the Phantom 4 Pro, but they have amazing drones, the, the, the Phantom 4, the Mavic Pro, and even the threes are still really good drones, okay? I wanna just talk about this compared to other companies, maybe like Autel or some other ones, okay? Autel is, gonna, is, is, is made in the USA, as far as I understand, or at least their customer support is, is in the USA. Maybe they're not made in the USA, but I know their customer support is, okay, for sure. The one complaint about DJI that I've seen, I haven't had any problems so far. I've actually had really good experiences with the, with the DJI customer service. I, I, I crashed a drone with, uh, a few years back and they actually just replaced it for me even though it was a crash and usually they don't do that. Okay, DJI does have a new system, a new program where you can get a warranty for a year and if you crash or anything like that, you can pay a small fee and get it replaced, okay? Um, it's called DJI Care or DJI Care Refresh, so. Um, but. As far as the quality of the cameras and the features that you get in the drone, DJI is better than everyone else. There's no one that can match DJI's drones right now. Um, I'm watching Autel because that's one that I think could catch up and surpass eventually, but they just keep coming up with the best technology. If you look at what happened with GoPro's Karma, they announced their Karma and a week later DJI announced their Mavic Pro. The Mavic Pro is just like three times more advanced than the Karma, okay? And it's about the same price, if not cheaper. Actually, if you get it without the controller, it's cheaper. But who doesn't want, who want you know, you, you always want to get the, you always want to get the controller. Even though you can use the Mavic Pro without the controller and just use your cell phone. It's not, I don't think that's a good idea. Anyways, um, DJI so far right now is gonna keep hold of the market share because they do a lot of innovation, okay? They have the best product, they have the best technology. And it might be a few years before anyone's able to co compete with that. And I think the reason why is because most companies, at least from what I've seen recently, especially with like Canon, for example, which is what I shoot with, um, is they wait till other companies catch up to them and then they start innovating. DJI didn't wait to come out with a one-inch one inch sensor. You know, they didn't wait for Autel to come out with a one-inch sensor or a GoPro to come out with a one-inch sensor. They went ahead and invented that first. You know, they're probably gonna, they're probably working on a full-frame sensor um, in a consumer drone right now as we speak. I don't know, that's just my own opinion because they don't want to wait for Autel to pass them up or catch up. And so until another company decides, hey, we're gonna take the initiative or we're gonna jump straight to that, DJI is gonna be the way to go, okay? If you need something cheaper, DJI has the DJI Phantom 3, the 3 Professional, or the 3 uh, 4K or whatever, if, if, if you wanna go with that, um, or the 4 of the Mavic Pro. I, if I was you purchasing a drone right now, depending on what your needs are, if you're looking for a semi-professional top consumer market drone, I get the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. If you're just gonna be out hiking and need something super portable, I would go with the, with the uh, Mavic Pro. And if you don't want to spend as much money as this, but you want something a little bit, well, actually, you know what? I think the Mavic, I think the Mavic Pro is better than the Phantom 4. There are some things that the Phantom 4 might do a little bit better, like maybe being more sturdy in heavy winds or something like that. But the features on the Mavic Pro are better in all other instances from what I have seen than the Phantom 4. So I would actually just ignore the Phantom 4 and get the Mavic Pro because you can take it. It's portable and it's easy to get places, as well as having the benefit of having more features than the Phantom 4. If you can't afford that, go with the, go with the, go with the uh, Phantom 3 or the 3 Professional. You can get those for like 450 bucks right now, I think. So there's no excuse not to get a drone, but I would stick with DJI for now. Anyways, guys, that's my assessment of the market right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Please subscribe.